AMC, the author of text user interface and VHS, the video handler script. Both of them you see now here in action in combination, which actually the text user interface was very much required for me to be able to create this one. Now I want you to, to show you how to install VHS onto your um, Linux system, as you probably um, just could see this one is Fedora 21 that is currently in Rawhide um, development. So um, we'll be needing to install the RPM Fusion uh, repositories to this system. That is because as a FFmpeg is not um, being licensed as pure uh, FOSS uh, philosophy um, regarding the, the um, policies of Fedora. Now either way, we just open the browser, um, going to rpmfusion.org and going to enable this on our system, now Rawhide. And this one brings us this, let's open it and let Umix do its task. While downloading this one first, we go to fedoraforum.org and download the script. This is also the place where I hang out the most. So if you do have question, questions regarding the script, please, please feel free to register to the forum and drop a line within this uh, forum's thread. Um, actually, we're still waiting for some feedback, so here's your chance. I'm asking you, give me your feedback so I can improve it to your needs as well. It's actually currently just uh, focused on my needs, so you gotta live with them unless you tell me your opinion or your feedback. So, enable the RPM Fusion repositories, doing the action, and thank you. So, the Fusion is has taken place. Now we download the script, save it as. I highly, highly recommend it um, to be in slash bin or uh, slash user bin. Uh, however, <coughs> for uh, if, if you're not the administrator of your system, you can uh, make it within your user home directory. Just create a folder bin. Uh, place the script there um, so it can be used wherever you are within the terminal without needing to pass its full location. It's very helpful um, because the videos will not will usually not be in the same directory as the script is. So um, done this, we can close the browser and start the terminal going to the folder uh, where uh, I've just downloaded the script and make it executable. This is just for later use. So by now um, it's executable. However, for the first time starting it, it does need super user rights. So it can install the text user interface, which is required. And so it can install FFmpeg, so it can install video for Linux if you're using a webcam and MKV tools Nix. So, because we're on a live image, we do need to clear up the, the cage Yum has probably done previously. So, now executing the script, being already in this folder, we can just pass it like this. However, if you not in, in the bin folder, you would need to pass it like this for the first time. So it's now installing the text user interface and you already see it here with the blue and white lines and it's now installing the required packages. So while this is doing, we can already um, start another terminal and let me show here, now not being within the bin folder, how it's configured. Oh, nice, it's already done in the background. Now. This is uh, executed as root, so we do not want to have our personal configurations within the root 
directory so we abort this and just call it again oh there was no space left on the device now this is thanks to the virtual machine as always i thought uh, the unclean all would have helped but it didn't let's just execute it again and now do a sudo um install ffmpeg video for linux utils and the mkv tool for nix and just pass yes to all the installations now this is doing it again and i'm gonna show you the configuration menu meanwhile oh it's quite fast this time so let's just wait till it's done in the background should be just a few more seconds and done great so let's start it so you see here we have the rec inst which is ignorable however the default container being matroska it's my personal favorite giving the best um, video compression while remaining the best quality available and um, supporting all subtitles to be includable and, and lots of more so this is my personal favorite it would have been webm which is just the open source alternative to matroska however my tv at home doesn't like uh, webm Format, formatted videos so I needed to change it to Matroska now either way these values here are read from within the default configuration file this is changeable um, as you see here which variable to change now let me explain a few things the container will be used upon every call if you don't pass um, a dash e to change it it will be using this file extension and therefore its containers and their regarding default codecs. Those are required to be installed on your system. Uh, should have been done by the default installation of um, just this script. Um, also, just for more convenience or for more lazy mode, uh, if you buy, buy, pass um, dash capital B, it will be using this bit rates, hence the B. So for audio, it would be 192 or 768. If you pass a capital F, it will be forcing the video, which is currently working on, to have 25 frames per second. Sound is um, also by default um, I have not yet written a handler to change or better say to read out your systems um, so you would need to change this one manually if it's something different than also however most systems all the examples I've seen were using also so the chances are high you don't need to change this one ever now me uh, I'm Swiss German so German is my main language also um, I do like movies with their original language spoken and since most movies are English uh, this is my alternate language and this is forced just um, to have them available at all times however um, this does not really make it smaller and if you're just speaking one language you can now uh, just change the language for both <clears throat> going here with the menu 11 and saying false so for any further encodings it will be just using the main language now for the examples given uh, English is within the most of, of the files but German is not so let's change German and the language is number nine so let's change this one yes so you get a list of different languages um, which are available this list is not complete but it is a start uh, 
you can change to whatever you there is so for now uh, I'm be changing German to English and it's done now also there is a channels and channel downgrade I'm just having a laptop that is not connected to any multimedia uh, periphery so I'm just having stereo mode therefore I do want to force the channels to be downgraded to stereo so you see your stereo having two channels and the downgrade is forced now if you do have a surround sound system you might want to change this one to false so it will keep the surround systems where available from the input file so um, this would be channel downgrade number 13 yes and we change it to false also uh, FFM pack can handle webcam inputs now just to be sure I want to update the lists to get the in information about my webcam I'm just avoiding this one and starting the configuration screen again note there is a X rounder issue at the moment this is because we're inside the virtual machine so X rounder cannot read the values of the physical screen anyway now let's change the webcam resolution to something my webcam would actually support update lists this is weird it's uh, let's see if the script is there oh nice so being within the virtual machine doesn't uh, let me change those values doesn't really matter we can go to an editor of your choice now this being mint um, which is starting pluma uh, opening and go to the live user enabling the hidden files to be shown by pressing ctrl and h going to configuration going here to the folder vhs opening the file configuration file and setting it back to the default 641 to 480 this is just the default value and close it again now on your real system it would read uh, the, the variables um, supported uh, there is the screen resolution supported by your webcam you can also change the webcam frames per second I'm just trying it on um, previously it worked but um, yeah it's just Murphy's law uh, it's not the containers so let's change that back as well anyway it's a bad example but we can change the delay between video encodings so if you pass multiple videos um, by default I've set a delay of 45 seconds to let my laptop cool down a little bit so I just feel more comfortable um, so the laptop does not get overheated we can also change the subtitles so let's do this now VHSC changing the subtitles from SSH subtitle being number 16 yes so you see here a list of different subtitles and change it to whatever you like quite easy uh, i don't know why the webcam didn't work this time but uh, it should however this is how the configuration is done this is how vhs is installed you see it's quite fast quite easy and i hope you liked it i hope it was helpful and i wish you a good night Enjoy the script. Bye.